Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now if you are new to my channel, my name's Nolan. In today's video, I have got the cheapest Tracks of Slash project out with me. Uh, we've got a pretty nice day today. It is pretty windy, but the sun's out and it is finally spring. So I thought, why not get the cheapest Slash out? Um, I actually put on the stock wheels and tires. These are the ones that originally came on this machine. They are some licensed uh, Kumo tires. I don't know if they're rated for brushless power. I would guess not since this started off as a brush model. So they might blow wide open, but we're gonna have to see. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with this machine, it's got quite a few upgrades. Uh, probably most notably, uh, we've got an upgraded power system. This is a Castle Copperhead 10 ESC. It can run up to 4S LiPo, which is what we happen to be running today. We're gonna throw in this 6,500 milliamp, ADC discharge rate, 4 cell Ovonic pack. Um, that ESC is mated to a 1412, 3200 kV censored brushless motor, also from Castle. Let's see, other upgrades. This has got the 272R Magnum transmission that comes out of the Traxxas Drag Slash. Uh, it's got the RPM suspension arms all the way around, RPM shock towers on the front and the back. It's got the hot racing sway bars, as well as the Proline Power Stroke shocks all the way around. Very expensive, but very good shocks. Uh, we've got some heavy duty Intigy hardened steel drive shafts in there. Uh, we also have the low center of gravity conversion kit from Traxxas, which I highly recommend if you want your slash to handle and not flip over every single time you take a turn. Um, we're just running a strap to hold the battery in because I had to run an extended battery post and the leverage when the battery slides breaks this extended post. So I've broken probably three or four of these extended posts. This is not the extended one and I just was done with it. So I just put a strap in which seems to hold the battery all right. But uh, I guess let me go ahead, get this four cell hooked up and we'll jump right in this running video. Alrighty guys, time to rock and roll. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's start off with a launch in the grass, see how these tires hook up. Ready, get set, go! Oh, they definitely spin. I need to get this slash out more, it's so much fun. Things pulling wheelies. Up around the tree, bring her back down. Oh yeah, let's take her up on the road real quick. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video and like the fact I got the cheapest tracks to slash out, make sure to hit that like button. Also make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on new videos. Yeah, these tires definitely don't do well for traction. They're just spinning it seems like. Let's see how they hook up on the pavement. Pulls wheelies like crazy. Bring her for a flyby. The thing is literally, thing is literally just a wheelie machine. Let's get her flipped over. We got a car coming. That's not good for the body. This is actually the original body, by the way, guys. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is the original one unless I bought a second one. So I've been using it for a long time. Really, the only thing I did was I did tape up this body with uh, Gorilla Tape, which I highly recommend if you get a body. These these Lexan bodies do not last very long if you don't reinforce them some somewhat. Um, at the very least, you want to use Gorilla Tape. It's super easy to apply. You could also do the Shugu uh, in drywall tape method, but I find that a little, 
a little bit messier and I don't feel like it works any better. That's just my opinion, but uh, that's why I almost always go with Gorilla Taping the body. They balloon up quite a bit. You can really learn to be a lot better driver, I feel like, driving around a two-wheel drive machine because you just can't get that power to the ground whenever you want to, like with a lot of four-wheel drive machines. So if you really want to learn how to drive an RC, get a two-wheel drive. What's that noise? Oh, I think it's just a stick. There we go. I love using the trees as like a obstacle course. I think I have my TSM turned all the way off right now. So it's just me driving. So I really have to be gentle on that power because I can't just lay that power down. Uh, a little bit too much juice. It's a lot harder to counter steer a two wheel drive because you don't have that pull from the front wheels. So especially on grass and stuff, it's very difficult to drift a two wheel drive machine controllably. May will uh, cheat and give her a little bit of TSM. That'll make me look like a lot better driver than I am. I don't think I've done an upgrade on this machine in quite a while, so I don't know what else I can do to really make this thing better. That's why there hasn't really been any upgrades for quite a while. Gosh, I love this machine. It's so much fun. I remember back in the day before I started this project, I wasn't sure if I even wanted to get a two-wheel drive machine because I thought I already have a Slash 4x4 Ultimate and I also had a regular Slash VXL model, uh, a four-wheel drive. So I was like, why do I want to get a two-wheel drive? It just seemed kind of counterintuitive. But you know what? After I got it, I am so glad I did this project. Frankly, I think I probably gained the most amount of subscribers and the most amount of views from this project alone, more so than any other project I've done on the channel. And on top of that, it genuinely has been a ton of fun. I've had so much fun with this machine. My favorite place to take this is actually the sand dunes. I actually prefer the two-wheel drive. You throw some paddle tires on the back, the two-wheel drive I have more fun with at the sand dunes than the four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive is still a lot of fun, but you can't beat a two-wheel drive at the sand. So much fun. I love running this thing at the sand dunes. I'm hoping to get there again this year at some point. Maybe I'll have to bring the slash two-wheel drive with. Honestly, these tires are holding up pretty good. They haven't blown open yet, and I guarantee they are not rated for 4S. Ooh. Let's see. When that when it bottoms out, I think then it just the the issue is even with these super expensive and super nice power stroke shocks, once these shocks bottom out and you just hit down and slap down on that chassis, this thing goes airborne and tumbles. So there's nothing you can really do about that. That's kind of the nature of a short course truck. It just doesn't have the suspension travel as say something like an X-Max or even a Max. Let's, uh, let's go back down here. Ugh. I do have to say, slashes don't tend to be the most graceful when it comes to flying. Um, with that short course body, they tend to catch a lot of air. So I've never found a slash, either a four wheel drive or a two wheel drive to be that great of a performer when it comes to jumping. You can still jump them and have fun, don't get me wrong, but um, I prefer jumping something like an X-Max. Trying to just really modulate that throttle so we don't go over backwards. And 
rolling on that power. About three quarters throttle. Slash two-wheel drive, so much fun. Let's get another launch. One, two, three, go! Ooh, and tumble there. Ooh, and tumble there. She still kicks up a little bit of a roost even with these tires. They're not very aggressive. You guys can see probably this tire. Uh, we broke through the body here. Yep, what can you do? Price of having fun. You can see these tires, they're not very aggressive. It's a, kind of a little bit of a blocky tread, but not really anything aggressive that's gonna dig in on most terrain. They're doing all right though, and they haven't blown open. I want to make sure that these, the one thing I'm kind of surprised about, I'm surprised we haven't spun a hex on 4S because um, I'm just running regular wheel hexes on this, not my wheel hex claws. So it's kind of surprising that we haven't spun the inside of the wheel yet. We're actually doing pretty well. Now the one thing I do have to say about like a slash is once the grass gets really tall, the slash can really struggle for traction because that belly is just scraping across the ground. So. There's just a lot of resistance. But when the grass is pretty short, like right now, it does great. Oh, we're not even getting that power to the ground. Pretty much all out here. This thing is so much fun. I can't even remember the last time I had the slash two-wheel drive out. At least not with this configuration with this body on it. Maybe I had it out a, maybe six months ago with the bug body on it, but I don't remember the last time I even had it out. It's been a while. But you guys know, you know, with life and work, it's hard to, you know, get RCs out. It's not the same as, you know, I was filming out a lot of videos, a lot, a lot of videos when I was a pilot car driver, when I was driving all around the country. It really was a great gig in the sense that I was able to film videos when I got done working in all these different cool places all around the country. I really enjoyed that, but you know, that chapter has closed and uh, you know, we've entered a new chapter. I still like to travel when I get time off, but it's not as easy to go travel places and film videos in all these cool places. Um, and it's just not as easy to get RCs out and run them, you know, with a normal job. So. Uh, but when I do get them out, I do have a lot of fun, especially when they don't break. I love that. There's nothing worse. It seems like a lot of the times in the last like few videos I've done, something's broken and so far nothing's broken and I've been very hard on this thing. I do apologize. I'm rambling on quite a bit in this video guys, but kind of having a conversation with you guys. Of these tires not blowing. Ooh, no, no, no. Ooh, I saw that coming. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that was on me. I think she's good. 
I think actually this might be an RPM front bulkhead too, so we have a lot of RPM parts on this. Uh, I turned my TSM back off and you guys can tell. She is rowdy and hard to control. I wonder how she'd drive if I turned the TSM all the way up. This would be cheat code. You guys can probably just tell it's so much easier to lay the power down with the TSM on. Let's go ahead and get a launch from in front of it. Ready, get set, throw it. I'm gonna turn the TSM down. I don't need it as high as I've had it. Let's turn it off. Test my own driving skill. Yeah. The one complaint I do have about two wheel drive machines in general is because it only drives the rear wheels, when you hit the brakes it tends to lock up the rear, which makes the stopping pretty bad. It usually just spins out or slides out. I'll show you. See what I mean? When you lock up the brakes on a two wheel drive, you cannot stop straight. It's very hard to. I struggle to break these tires loose, so I want to try to drift this thing around. It's... Maybe it's because of the sway bars I have. It's very hard to kick that rear end out and make this thing slide without tipping over. Because as soon as you try to apply throttle, the rear end doesn't kick loose. It just pulls up the front end. lost the rear body mounts yeah both of those uh, we lost one of them one of them spun off A bummer I'll just take the other one off and put it on this side no big deal all right back in action <laughs> With the TSM turned off, I'm just absolute trash at driving. This is where I miss having something like a Badland. Badlands just hook. I do have a set of Badlands, they're just really worn out. I need to get another set. And there, I think she just hit low voltage mode. You know what, that lasted quite a while though. I wanna say we probably got at least 20, if not 25 minutes of runtime, and nothing seemed to have broken, so I had a great time. So if you guys did enjoy this video with the cheapest tracks of Slash, go ahead, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Later!